What's what's Earl been up to, man? Fuck Earl. What? Yeah, fuck Eric. Oh, yeah, he ain't with Derrick James no more. Yeah, exactly. You ain't Derrick James. Fuck you, motherfucker. You folded. You didn't want to pay him some money. That's fucked up. It's all business, but still, at the end of the day, some fucked shit up. How I pay him more on a fight I made less. The fuck? Come on, motherfucker. Fuck him. Yeah, that's, and he been with you your, your, your whole career. Fuck is wrong with you? How I pay Derek more on a fight I made less? Pager, let him know. So what was? So Ryan Garcia says F. Errol Spence, the man that is pretty much single handedly the reason why Ryan even wanted to work with Derek James. I mean, Derek James and Errol Spence were, you know basically complimentary towards each other. Arrow became a unified champion. He lost to arguably the greatest boxer of this generation, of this era. And so Ryan Garcia goes on his Twitter space and says, F Arrow, right? Because apparently he almost uh, essentially confirmed that Arrow and Derek have split. Now, we don't know if that's true, but this is what Ryan is saying, that uh, Arrow wasn't paying Coach James properly, right? And I've never heard any issues about Coach James not getting paid through all of the fights. Errol fought Mikey on pay-per-view. He fought Danny on pay-per-view. He fought uh, Ugas on pay-per-view. I've never seen or heard uh, this issue until maybe, you know, speculation recently, right? Maybe it was from the Bud fight. There was rumors that Coach James wanted a percent of the back end, which is pay-per-view. Right. And I don't know how many times we've seen a uh, trainer get pay-per-view money. But either way, I rock with Coach James. Y'all seen him. We've talked to him many times on this channel. Errol as well. I hope they haven't split. But for Ryan to come out again, this man is having word vomit at this point. He's saying literally anything and everything that comes to mind. Uh, I don't think, like you look at the gym that, that, Ryan is training in right now with Coach James, and not to say that Coach James didn't work hard for that, and he's not a part of that hard work, but Arrow had a lot to do with building that gym as well. Arrow had a lot to do with co-signing that gym, putting that gym on the map, validating that gym, and all of the above. A trainer without a champion, or a trainer without uh, uh, his fighter becoming a champion is still la lacking a stamp, right? And at the end of the day, like Floyd said, your fans can't fight for you. Your trainer can't fight for you. So it was Errol that was going out there in that ring, uh, um, you know, pretty much, you know, you know, defining his legacy is what I'm trying to say. And so for Ryan, <clears throat> who's seen Errol's success and say, you know, I want to train with Coach James. Same thing with Jermel Charlo. Jermel Charlo seen Errol's success with Coach James and said, hey, Errol, he came to Errol and he said, hey, would you mind if... Your trainer trained me as well. And Errol didn't care. He was like, yeah, man, that's cool. You know what I mean? So Errol has always been that type of person. So not only that, then you have Frank Martin come along. You had Burley Brooks out there who was already with uh, Coach James for a while. So Coach James, as far as I know, he trained uh, Errol, Burley Brooks, Jermel Charlo, Frank Martin, and Ryan got uh, Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? Like, it showed, like, maybe that is the issue more than anything, that Coach James might be spread too thin with all of these fighters, you know, with Charlo, Martin, Joshua, Garcia. At one point, it was just Burley and Errol. That's what I remember. It was just Burley, Brooks, and Errol. And Burley didn't, you know, he fought, like, maybe twice a year or something, if I'm not mistaken. Shout out to Burley Brooks, who also been on my channel. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but, again, for Errol to be unselfish and share that gym share his trainer, you know, with uh, uh, these guys who are basically top guys. Ryan, how many trainers have you been with? You know what I mean? You've been through a bunch of different trainers. You got kicked out damn near Ryan and them, uh, uh, Canelo in them camp. They say, you you know, your work ethic wasn't up. But for this dude to come out and say, F Arrow, I think he's just trolling. I think he's just trying to kick up dust. He's trying to get any reaction he wants. He came out and said that he called Bud a little B. Like, I'll beat that little B up dog. Bud would do Ryan Garcia dirty. What Errol say, put his ass in the dirt. So, again, 
You got Devin Haney issues that you need to deal with. And to me, Ryan is moving like somebody who knows he's going to get cooked. To me, he's riding like someone who knows they're about to get cooked April 20th. And so uh, don't be surprised if Errol Spence, Bud, and everybody else he's been talking about uh, uh, give him a lick when he's down, kick him when he's down, especially if Devin doing bad. So that's what I expect, and that's what I think we're going to get. They ain't going to say much beforehand, but uh, let Ryan fall. Let him get cooked. Let him get stopped. Let him quit, and they're going to be on his head. Like, what was you saying? So, again, very uh, – uh, again, if Ryan – can you imagine if Ryan was black and he was doing all this stuff on Twitter he doing, he posting his girls and kissing and telling and posting this chick and – I'm in love with this chick, F Kanye, Kanye like fingers in his butt, like all this other, you know, like all this, he just saying any and everything, right? I think he's trying to maximize the potential of the paper he buys, but at what cost? You know, burn every bit bridge that you can, have people on your head, you know what I mean? Trying to kick you whenever you fall. So again, this is not very Christian like of Ryan Garcia, in my opinion, but hey, you know, he's trying everything he can to sell his fight. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's the baddest brand in the lane, Champside.